Hey there, Genie Beans. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, thank you for clicking on this video. Today, we're doing the celery juice challenge. If it's a challenge, I don't know. I'm not sure. I just know that I see it everywhere. And I wanted to jump on it and see if it works for me. So as you guys can see, I came in at 274 even. I went to Walmart and I got me a couple of um, stalks of celery, probably about three. And I said, well, let me just get started. I know it's supposed to be organic, but at the time I just wasn't around it. So I did what I could. And that's the whole thing, guys. Just do what you can do when you can do it. And then you improve later. So here you see me cutting up the celery into little pieces. I do not have a juicer, so I'm doing it the hood way and I'm just cutting it up into really small pieces, ugh, pieces so I can put it into the blender. Okay, so next I'm going to put all the pieces into the blender. I probably filled it up about halfway this time because I didn't want it to get stuck. And I added a bottle of spring water to it and blended it up. All right, so this is how I did it. I don't have any bags, you know, those hemp bags everybody's doing it with. No, we we not on that level, okay? This is this is the getaway. I got me a strainer set from Walmart which was about a dollar and 47, like seriously, it was almost, less than $2. And I put them in order just like that. I'm going to pour it in there and let it drain through. And I take the spoon and just pat it down until it's pretty much drained out. And even if some gets through, you have like two, three, and four strainers under it that's going to catch whatever goes through the first one. You're going to keep on pushing the liquid through until all of it becomes like thick, almost like a putty, not really a putty, but you know what I mean. The pulp basically gathers up and you can just like scoop it up on the spoon like that. Ooh. <laughs> And then I just take that and throw it away. Or you can save it if you want to and add it to a meal. Um, I guess put it in a soup. I don't know, but it's not that serious for me. After doing this process over and over and I get to the last little bit, I'm going to go level by level. So the first one is done. The second one, everything that's gathered up, I'm going to push that down into. It's mostly just like foamy, but there's some liquid in there too. So I just like spread it out and let it fall through. And then I do the same with the next one. But it, it, it gets less and less each level until you end up at the final level, which is right here. And I lift this up and voila. There is my celery juice. There's nothing in it. There's no pulp, just pure celery ready to consume. And this is how it looks going into my cup. It was a little bit watery and I figured maybe I put too much water in it. And I was wondering why it wasn't as green as I saw in other videos, but yeah, this is it. So I put the rest of the juice in this container right here for the next couple of days. And right next to it is cup number one. All right, here it is in its glory. Bon appetit. I'm scared. <laughs> it's like, I like celery too, but I've never had it as a juice. So yeah, I've never had it as a juice, so I'm scared. Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh, it smells intense. <laughs> I don't know how much this is, but it's a pretty big cup. So here we go, okay. Oh, it's not bad. Tastes like celery. Hmm. See, I like celery, so. Hmm. See, I thought it would be like. I mean, maybe for some people it is, but just need a little ice. Cool it down. I hope I don't shit myself at work. 
I can feel it in my stomach already, like, going down. Ugh. Have people thrown up on this? It's intense. Right now, what I'm feeling, it's not even that it's bad, that it's like sitting in my stomach and it's interacting with all the poison that's already in my stomach. So I feel that slight nausea feeling. It's almost like something foreign has entered your body. It's not sugar, not sugar, not sugar alert. And so my body hates this right now. It doesn't like it at all. This is seriously taking me so long to drink. And it's like, I don't know how long this is, how many days I'm gonna be doing this. Probably for a while. I don't have that much to go, but I'm just like, bro, shit is intense. Thank God I only have to do it once a day. Am I getting a headache? Oh my gosh, I'm in such bad shape. Can we already fast forward to like day four or five? Oh. Oh. Okay, just chug it. Chug it, chug it, chug it, chug it. I did it. One cup down. I don't know how many more to go. But I do have tomorrow's ready. And I'm just going to stick that in the refrigerator. Because that draining process, y'all see how I drain it? That's a lot. So I'm not going to be doing that shit like every fucking day. I probably will have to do it every day. So I'm going to stick that in the refrigerator for tomorrow so it's already ready. And then I'll make my next batch and then keep on going like that same process. And so I have no more. And we'll see how many days that lasts me. So yeah. Hey y'all, okay, so it's day two of my celery juice. Um, I didn't have no major bowel movement, anything like that. Um, it's just when I was drinking it that first time, you felt it going down, especially like on an empty stomach. Um, for the most day, all day yesterday, I was kind of like extremely tired. I don't know, it, it's supposed to give you energy, but yesterday I didn't have any energy when I was at work. I broke out a little bit under my eye, but I don't think that has anything to do with the celery juice. I don't know. But I'm still going to continue it and see what happens. So, oops, I have my glass right here. And I'm going to make more tonight when I come home from work. And I think I'm going to do it differently. I'm probably not going to put as much water because this is kind of watered down. Like it's kind of light and I want it to come out like dark green like I've been seeing it. So I'm going to try that tonight when I make it again. But yeah, day two, bon appetit. It tastes better cold, that's for sure. Oh my God, I hate that I broke out under my eye like that. Like, I'm always breaking out around my eyes. Like, my face is so sensitive. I'm going to finish this up. And and I'm using the same cup the whole time, so you guys can see. I don't know if this is 16 ounces or not, but seems like enough for me. And I still have some left over. Oh, I will say this. Last night when I came home from work... I was craving some more celery juice, but I had eight already. And I know you have to take it on an empty stomach. So I didn't want to drink it and waste, you know, you, you know what I mean? Like I didn't want to drink it and then waste what I made because it's supposed to be on an empty stomach. But it was interesting to me that I was craving some last night after the whole day was said and done. So we'll see how today goes. Hopefully it's a better day. And hopefully I'm not as tired besides the fact that I look like a freaking, I don't know what, with that fucking shit under my eye. I'm going to watch out for that too. See if I have any breakouts to this. Because y'all know this is GMO celery. This is not organic because I'm just not rich like everybody else. But hey, this is the poor man's celery juice journey. All right, this is the second batch I'm making. I'm going to put a little bit of water. 
Not as much as I did last time. Let's see. So day three, um, I'm getting used to it. I like celery, like I said before, but I haven't felt anything weird as far as what other people talking about with going to the bathroom. Um, number two wise, number one wise, I'm going all the time. Um, especially like right after I drink this, it goes through me. I would say within about an hour and a half, 30 minutes to an hour, I'm going, going, going. But other than that, I haven't really exercised yet. I do plan to exercise. <sighs> it's better when it's cold. The second batch, the juice didn't look like um, as much as the first one. So it depends also on the size of them. But I did it the same way, the same method. Um, the difference with this one, I didn't put as much water because I wanted like that green to really come out. So I didn't put as much water, but I did it the same method that like I showed you before. I've been eating normally. Um, I haven't been really overeating. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Day three, bottoms up. All right. Hey guys, good morning. I am rushing to work. It's one of those fucking days. This is why it's good to have your juice already ready. Because I literally have 10 minutes to get to work. And I have to get this in. So this is day four. Um, yesterday, I had um, a lot of energy. So I'm starting. So by day three, basically. Sorry about the wheel, guys. I'm, I'm a poor man. And no, I'm not really a man, though. Cause some people out here probably would think that I'm a man. I'm not a really, I'm not really a man. I don't have a what you call it holder, so I just have you guys in the dashboard. But yeah, yesterday I actually had energy. I'm starting to feel the energy, so that's why I gotta hurry up and stop talking and just drink this, chug this whole shit down. But I made this is the second from the second batch that I made. It's still not as dark green as I would like it. And I think that has a lot to do with the fact that it's not organic. Um, so I'm definitely going to do this again with organic. Um, that's what you're supposed to do it with. But like I said, I just wanted to try it out. And I have seen some changes. I haven't been on the scale. Um, I'm not even thinking about the scale. I'm just thinking about how do I feel on the inside out. So yeah, I'm going to chug this down and basically run into my job. It actually tastes good. I heard another lady, she was on the phone and she was like, yeah, I gotta go to such and such store because I have to get organic celery to try this celery juice. And I hollered out, oh, I'm on day three. And she was like, oh, really? I said, yeah. I was like, she's like, does it taste bad? I said, it's not that bad. Like there's some things that's really like that apple cider vinegar, you already know that's good. Ugh. But see, I like celery, so. It doesn't taste bad. I told her as long as it's chilled or, you know, like it's cold, it's not that bad. But, and I have a headache. Oh, my God. I've been sleeping so hard lately with these headaches. Um, it has nothing to do with this, though. I think this is actually helping me out to have less of them because, girl, I just quit smoking. So um, I feel like I'm having those like withdrawals and this is definitely helping. All right, I'm here. You bitch, better move out the way because I will fucking hit you. Two minutes to spare, bitch. Okay guys, so I finished the first amount of celery that I had before. 
And remember I told you they were GMO celery, but I still want to continue with the challenge because I'm getting used to it. So I decided to get the organic and just look how different that is from the celery that I got from Walmart. Just look at how green it is. Just look. So I got three bunches here. Once I'm done with those three bunches, then I will be done with it. This is how everything looks. I think I can get at least another week out of them, and at least another like five to six days. We'll see. But yeah, this is like really green. I'm really feeling this. So I'm going to make another batch of juice and then I will show you guys how that looks. All right, hey guys, just coming on real quick. Um, this is day nine. So this is going to be organic. And as you can see, it actually separates itself. Like all the good nutrients, like it actually like separates itself and goes down to the bottom, which is pretty kind of cool. So I kind of just like stirred it up, but you can see it right there, like the difference in consistency. And we are gonna try this out and see how it is. I have my cup that I usually use, my Steelers cup, but it's in the dishwasher right now, which you guys can probably hear in the background. So yeah, I'm just using my Teamy Blends um, container right now. And yeah, so let's see how this tastes. I think I wanna stir it up a little bit more again. Okay, here I go. Wow. Wow, it's stronger. But again, it's good. It's not that bad. Very nice. It's potent. It's like a ting. It's like, it's green, like it's real. It's um, heavier, but so far drinking this, it doesn't feel the same way like the first one did. Like. When I took a sip on that day one, I felt like my stomach was, it was turning as soon as I, as soon as I took a sip. But this, this is good. I can finish this real quick. Honestly, for real. Okay, it's day 10. And I just took the meanest and number two. Sorry for the TMI, but this is a part of my journey. And that shit was literally like, bitch. All I know is that it, it's getting into them cells, them enzymes. It's doing something. Because, girl, did I go. Somebody, please let me know if that's normal. I got my sealer cup back. And, yeah, I'm going to chug this bad boy down. You see all that goodness in there. And yeah, day 10 of intense organic. That's what I'm gonna call it, intense organic. I really do enjoy drinking this better though. You feel better as you're drinking. It's just overall just better. It's more fulfilling basically. Oh, so intense, it's still good, but it's just, it's like a bitter. Bitter, bitter taste. Okay. See you for the next day. Hey guys, good morning. I'm not talking too loud. It's the last day of my celery juice challenge. So it's exactly 
two weeks, basically, I've been doing this. I have my last big cup right here. And I'm going to chug this bitch down. We are almost there. We're almost done with celery juice. I've had energy, like I said before. Right now, I don't have energy, though, because I'm just waking up, and it's like... And I know I have a long day at work, but... um. This journey has been quite interesting, especially doing the difference between like organic and the GMO. I definitely saw a big difference. My stomach was not hurting at all drinking the organic, not at all. Um, and that first time, I don't know if it's because it was my first time or if it was GMO, even the days afterwards, after that first day, when I would drink the GMO, it would just... I would just feel it bubbling, but um, I don't know if that's normal or not. But yeah, um, this is definitely something that I'm going to continue to do. I'm going to take a break from it for now. This is my last day, um, and I'm going to get on the scale for you guys. Um, my eating habits have basically been the same. I portion things out, but it's not like... I'm eating like super like a health nut. What I've been doing is just not overeating. So I'll, I really usually don't have breakfast. Like this is my breakfast. And then um, for lunch, I'll either have um, a sandwich, <laughs> maybe some ramen noodles. Like it's not like I'm eating super healthy. I'm just not overeating. This is just me drinking the juice in the morning and just like eating lunch and maybe um, a nice dinner depending on what I fucking cook. Which is usually something that's not good for me anyway. I did not exercise during the two weeks. I just have so much going on. And you're gonna see in other videos what those things were, but I had a lot of things going on. So I hate to say that I didn't really exercise um, so I'm kind of nervous to get on the scale because I didn't exercise and it's like, what's the whole fucking point? But I guess it just is a good way to see how the juice did by itself. And, you know, like I said, I didn't really overeat. So it's not like it should be that bad. I'm hoping at least maybe like five pounds. It's been two weeks. So... It's been a fucking while. I also didn't have um, breakouts when I tried the organic. Remember how in day two, I broke out under this eye or I had some type of whelp under my eye? And I thought that was really weird because that happened as soon as I woke up the next day after drinking celery juice. Like, I do break out around my eyes if something is real sensitive, if I have like some type of allergic reaction to something. And that type of whelp was like, that told me it was like allergic reaction to something or slightly, you know what I mean? Because the way that it formed, it was just not normal. So that was just interesting. But when I had the organic, that didn't happen. It did go down after later on that day, but I just thought it was interesting that I started the Gmail celery, and then that happened the next day. We're gonna go get on the scale right now and see what it says. Let's go. Holy bitch, what? Bitch, where? 265? That's basically 10 pounds. That's 10 pounds. 10 pounds in two weeks, considering I was not exercising. The only exercise I got was basically like walking to my car to go to work and walking around at work. I cut out soda. Um, I haven't been drinking soda like that. I'm definitely going to do this shit again. This was a good test to see how strong the juice is because that shit literally flushed me the fuck out. I'm proud of myself. I can't. What, bitch? 
so this is a start. This is definitely a start. I'm really happy about this. Um, definitely go organic. My final review on it. Definitely go organic. Um, it tastes better. Have it chilled. Um, if you don't have a juicer, you can do it the way that I did it. I did have energy throughout my day. So yeah, guys, that's my celery juice journey. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. Make sure to comment and subscribe because you know that you want to, not because you feel like you have to, because I will never ask you to subscribe. That's just not me. I want you to subscribe because you feel it in your heart too. Um, and yeah, I'm definitely going to do this shit again. So stay tuned for the next uh, weight loss video, bitch. I am on the way. Hey, 10 pounds, bitch. I didn't even do anything like 10 pounds. Let me know down below in the comments if you've done a celery juice, um, how it's been working out for you. Do you like it? Have you lost weight? What was the difference when you exercised? <laughs> and if you had organic or Gmo, I think that was a good comparison. You see the major difference between, between that. So organic is the way to go. Um, definitely. I'm wondering now, when I had gotten on the scale after having GMO for about four or five days, I only lost one pound, okay? After that weigh-in, day five, day five, I think I still had some GMO left over, so I drank that. But, excuse me, around day seven, eight, nine is when I started the organic and... Wow, that's a difference. That really flushed me out. And I noticed with the organic, I was going to the bathroom a lot more. You could just tell the difference. It's just a major difference. I really can't explain it. But I definitely saw a difference. And yeah, I'm so glad I did this, guys. I'm so glad I did this. <sighs> a bitch lost 10 pounds and didn't even really try, bitch. Imagine if I tried. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Peace. You ain't got the answers. You ain't got the answers, Sway. I've been doing this morning. You about to go yay. About to go yay. About to go yay. Go fuck what you say. I'm about to go yay. I'm about to go yay.